Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. Ernest again. So we are continuing our safari through Africa. The next animal that we will be spotting on our safari is going to be the striped hyena. Now you may have seen a hyena before, but I don't know if you've seen one quite like this. So we're going to have a, a slightly different challenge today. Normally our animals are looking this way, but today it's going to be looking this way. So instead of trying to find where we're going to put the head on this side of the paper, we're going to be doing it on this side of the paper. So I think the head's going to be right here. So we start off, like many of our animals, with this Y for a nose, just the letter Y. And then connect it to that Y. A little smiley face. And then at the top of the Y, you're going to head and connect that gap. Now you got the nose. So if the nose is here and the mouth is down here, that means the eyes are somewhere up here. So uh, a good way is you look at the corners of the mouth. So right here and right over here. Go there and then make an invisible line in your head. It goes from here to, uh, eyes should be about right there. Here's one. I'm gonna go from the corner of the mouth, go up and stop right about there. Does that look right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Next, let's make the shape of the head. Sort of an oval. Yeah, looks pretty good. Let's make this here. It's almost like a triangle. Then we'll make this here. And I like to add this little line right there on the inside. So you know that this is the outside of the ear and that this is the inside of the ear. So this part is not fuzzy, but this part is fuzzy. Let's see. And you know what? They do have something else that's very interesting about them, is their muzzle. That means it's the, the front of their face where their mouth and nose are. Their muzzle is black. It's a different color. So I'm gonna make a line that goes from here to there. So from this end of the smiley face to that end of the smiley face, it just goes up and it swoops down. It doesn't go past the eyes. So somewhere between the eyes and the nose. Very nice. All right. Now that we know where the head is, and you've done such a great job with that, we are going to do the rest of the body. Now, one thing that's very interesting about striped hyenas is that they have something called a mane. Now their mane is a little different than a lion's mane. It's not here around their head. It goes down their back. So they have a big, big furry, almost like a sail on their back made out of fur. So it goes back. And then I'm gonna go like this. Very tall and very spiky. It's not actually spikes, it's hair. Then it goes down, and eventually it stops. And we keep going. Okay, that looks really good. Now let's let's do the same thing on the bottom. So we're gonna start, I'd say, about right here. See that? Now this is where one of the front legs is going to be. So I'm going to go straight down. I'm going to go forward just a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to go scoot around the back and go back up. All right. So we're making that invisible line. It goes from here. We don't draw through here. We continue over there. 
you might have noticed how when I went over here, I had it go up. Well, that's because this is the, the rib cage. That's where if you feel your chest when you breathe, you, you feel all those bones in there. That's right here. And this over here would kind of be your, your stomach. For animals, they usually have very big rib cages. So this part would be out because it's bigger and then it would go up. All right, so we did the front leg. Now let's do the back leg. We're doing the same thing, go straight down and it comes forward, it goes back. Now you might notice that this leg is quite a bit thicker and bigger than that leg. Well, there's something very interesting about animals. Their back legs in almost every animal is always bigger and stronger than their front legs. Even you. Your arms are not as strong or as long or as big as your legs. And it's the same thing for animals. So the back legs are always bigger and stronger. All right, now that we're back here, we're gonna draw the tail. So we're gonna have go back. It's almost like a fox tail, where it's very big, it's very fuzzy. All right, I think we're almost done. Next, we're gonna be doing the legs that are on the other side of the animal. So we're gonna go down. Remember, it's a little further away. So we're gonna draw them just a little bit smaller. If you draw it the same size, that's fine too. Go down, go forward, and then you go back up. All right, you know what? Let's get some more details in there. See these little lines that I'm making? I took a big leg and I'm turning this into a paw. That's all the individual individual toes of a of an animal. See how it's curved and it's going it's going backwards? That's how you make the paw. I think that looks very nice. Now you're probably asking yourself, Mr. Ernest, you said we're drawing a striped hyena, but I'm not seeing any stripes. Well, that is very observant of you. And what we're actually going to be doing is we are going to be making the stripes using color. So most of it, I'm gonna make it this color. So I'm just gonna go through here. Going through. Now, if I had a tan, I'd probably be using that. But you know what? Peach is pretty close. So remember when you're coloring, you don't want to color everything. Like you wouldn't color the inside of the ears. That's going to be a different color. Let me check over here. I think I'll have that. Oh, goodness. That was a lamp. I accidentally hit it with my elbow. I'm have the inside of the ears be pink. I think I'll have the eyes be black. I think I'll have the nose be black as well. And now, the fun part. I'm gonna have brown. I'm gonna make the muzzle brown. And 
and their paws are brown. And next comes the stripes. So I'm gonna have some stripes on the legs. We have the stripes coming from this side, and then from that side, and then from this side, and then from that side. And I'm kind of like drawing, almost like triangles. Let's do some on the tail. See how I'm doing it? Just a bunch of scratchy lines. Now their mane would have lots of stripes going down the mane. And I believe the tip of the mane is actually black. So I want to lightly come in at the tip of the mane. Not all of it, just, just the end of it. I'm going to come in and I'm going to make those parts black. All right. We are not quite done yet though. We have a lot more stripes to do. So I'm gonna have a big one that comes over here. I think I'll stop there. And I'll have a big one that comes over here. I don't think I'll stop there. When I'm making stripes, I don't, I don't make it go all the way across. I don't think it looks quite right. Goes here. I wanna stop it. And it goes down here. I don't think I'll stop. And then I want to go up. Do you see the pattern? Down, up, down, up, down, up. So we change sides as we do this. Wow, I think that looks pretty good. You know, I'm gonna add some stripes on the side of this face. I'm gonna have some matching stripes over here. I'm gonna give him some happy eyebrows. Some happy eyebrows. All right, it is time to write its name. So it is the striped hyena. Str, str, str. That sound is made with S-T-R. I, well, that's, that's easy. P, stripe, P, 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 striped. Now, one way that when you hear that t at the end of a word, sometimes it is the letter T, but sometimes it's also E-D striped okay finger space hyena h hyena you might be thinking i and that would be a great guess but it's actually a y e e e n n n n n n hyena uh I can understand if you think that's a U, but that's actually an A. Striped hyena. Wow. That looks very nice. All right. Tomorrow we're going to continue the safari. I'm not too sure what animal we're going to do, but I know that we are going to have a wonderful time doing it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.